Come to my assistance, Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let all things now living a song of thanksgiving to God our Creator, triumphantly reign, who fashioned and made us protected and saved by guiding us unto the end of our days. God bless our
Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. To the Lord in the hour of my distress I call, and he answers me. O Lord, save my soul from lying lips, from the tongue of the deceitful. What shall he pay in return, O treacherous tongue? The lawyer's arrows sharpened and coals red hot blazing. Alas, that I abide a stranger in Meshach, dwell among the tents of Kedar. Long enough have I been dwelling with those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for fighting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. O oh, happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no God. I kept it secret, and my frame was wasted. I groaned all the day long, for night and day your hand was heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength was dried up, as by the summer's heat. But now I have acknowledged my sins, my guilt I did not hide. I said, I will confess my offense to the Lord. And you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let every good man pray to you in the time of need. The floods of water may recharge, but then they shall not reach. You are my hiding place, O Lord. You save me from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like horse and mule, unintelligent, needing bridle and bit, else they will not approach you. Many sorrows has the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, loving mercy surrounds him. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, exalt you just. O come, ring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of God. All things were created through him and for him. Glory to God through the ages. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in life. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, 
the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In Him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through Him, all were created for Him. He is before all else that is. In Him everything continues in being. It is He who is head of the body, the Church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. So that primacy may be His in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in Him and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. All things were created through Him and for Him. Glory to God through the ages. to it, you are deceiving yourselves. There is, on the other hand, the man who peers into freedom's ideal law and abides by it. He is no forgetful listener, but one who carries out the law in practice. Blessed will this man be in whatever he does. Trusting acceptance of trials, you will gain your life, says the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. And has lifted up the lonely. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers. To Abraham and his children forever. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. By your trusting acceptance of trials, you will gain your life, says the Lord. In all that we do, let the name of the Lord be praised, for he surrounds his chosen people with boundless love. Let our prayer rise up to him. Remember your church, Lord. Keep her from every evil and let her grow to the fullness of your love. Let the nations recognize you as the one true God, and Jesus your Son as the Messiah whom you sent. Grant prosperity to our neighbors, Give them life and happiness forever. Console those who are burdened with oppressive work and daily hardships. Preserve the dignity of workers. Fruitfulness in my apostolate in Memphis. For Brother Mershon, for Father Stan, for all the pilgrims, for all the parishioners of All Souls Parish, for benefactors, for Barbara, thanksgiving for health and life of Sandra and Marilyn. For Joe and the youth. Open wide the doors of your compassion to those who have died today, and in your mercy receive them into your kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, you filled the heart of St. Gertrude with the presence of your love. Bring light into our darkness, and let us experience the joy of your presence and the power of your grace. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and, and with, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go into peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of November 17th. 
at Marburg, St. Elizabeth, daughter of the King of Hungary and his wife and, the, and wife of Louis, the saintly landgrave of Thuringia. Having become a widow at 20, she dedicated herself to serving the poor while possessing a Franciscan spirit of perfect joy amidst many trials. She died as a Franciscan tertiary at the age of 24 in 1231. In 1200, a century after the death of St. Bruno, the return to God of St. Hugh, who introduced and organized Carthusian life in England. After 25 years of monastic life, he was elected Bishop of Lincoln. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints, whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life.